It's a great day, sports world. What's up to all the sports lovers, haters, addicts, and fanatics out there? This is Larry Patterson for GT365. That's game time. 365 Sports right here on the GTSN. That's the game time sports network. And we're moving right along with team number two in the AFC North. That's the Baltimore Ravens. Now, this team went 8-9 and nine last year, um, I do believe, and missed the playoffs for the first time in, like, three years. Um had a bunch of injuries, had injuries all the way through training camp. J.K. Dobbins went down. The whole running back room just about went down. Had to get guys off the streets. Uh, Lamar Jackson um, saw his his sack total go from like 20-something to like 36, 38. Um, it, was, it was pretty bad. Defensive guys went out. So this year, hopefully, it's a lot different. I think, in my mind, in my prediction, I'm thinking that the Ravens will uh, get back to their dominance in the AFC or the AFC North. Um, they still got competition over there. That whole division is going to be just stacked. Um, J.K. Dobbins comes back from from his ACL, and uh, they – Saying John Harbaugh saying that you know he will bring him on slowly, which rightfully so is the right move. Um, then you bring in a, a guy like Tyler Batty who had 1600 yards at Missouri. Uh, Rashad Bateman is now the number one guy there, being that Hollywood Brown was traded uh, just for a first round pick. Um, also, uh, look for guys like Slade Bolton from uh from Alabama. I think he's gonna be a nice he's gonna make a nice contribution to this team. Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely, I think that they will be a scary tight end duo. Uh once the pass game and everything else gets right, they're gonna be a scary tight end duo for years to come. Uh Tyler Lindenbaum, he comes in, helps out the offensive line. Uh Jawan James, hopefully his career can can be uh, revitalized um, and and take a different toll um, for the defensive side of the ball. They drafted they drafted Travis Jones from Connecticut, um, and I think he's gonna push Michael Pierce for that uh, for that nose tackle job. Uh, he had like a career high three or four sacks last year at Connecticut. Um, no uh, no David Ajabo this year. Because uh, he, I think he tore his Achilles or his ACL, but you get to see uh, Adafi Owe again, and then that secondary who was down, Marcus Peters and, and Marlon Humphrey, they gonna be back again. Don't forget to like and subscribe.